Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for November. Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, and the timing is fluid. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So this card just fell out. Claw, be careful. Do not take risks. So you're being called to not take risks in November. Be careful. What do we have for cancer? Emotional outburst ahead. So there could be an emotional outburst ahead for you. Wonderful. What do we have for cancer? Four of Ariel. When you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change. Extremes in how you save or spend money. This is the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like you're holding on to something. You're holding on to something that makes you feel secure. You're resisting change. So there's something that you probably need to let go of, okay, to receive. You might have to let go of something that you have been holding on to. There's going to be an emotional outburst, Dad. What do we have for cancer? Tower reverse, it could be a permanent loss, okay? This is an extreme, this is unavoidable change. Okay, it's unavoidable change, all right? You've avoided it up until now. We may have somebody here that has some health problems. Maybe they're extreme. This, could, this is a loss, it's a permanent loss. A painful change, somebody could be moving. Um, there could be in a fight, it could be a huge fight. This is something that you never saw coming. Um, oh, there it is. Ten of Swords reverse just flew right out of the deck. So there's no going back. Okay, the worst has happened. This is a relapse or something coming back from the dead. This is freedom. This is liberation. This is, could also be chronic health problems that are coming back around to be dealt with. This is, uh, you made your bed, now you need to lie on it. Okay, there's something extreme that is happening. Um, but it is liberation. It is freedom. Okay, you're going to be freed from some sort of false sense of security that you've been holding on to. Okay, we saw that with the Four of Pentacles. It's like you've been holding on to something that is built on false pretenses, or it's a false sense of security. And I feel like you've held on to it for quite some time because it made you feel some sort of secure. There's going to be an uproar. There's going to be upheaval. This is the end. Okay, it is the end. You're going to be force the universe you can't avoid it you can only avoid things for so long you can only avoid this the reality for so long okay so there's or i feel like we have a reality check here this is the end it's the end of a painful situation where there's been suffering there's been some betrayal um there's been a lot of lies there's been a lot of falseness okay this is stabbed right in the back somebody has been stabbed right in the back they've reached the end Knight of Cups below you it may have to do with a relationship or, or a love affair or something like that. That's the basis of the situation. It has to do with a relationship. Six of Pentacles reversed in the past. There's one-sidedness. There's a rejection. I don't know if you've been rejected or somebody else has been reject rejected. There's been some sort of rejection. There's been falseness. There's been lies. Somebody didn't get what they deserve. There's, this is unfair. There's greed. There's an abuse of power. There's abuse of generosity. We have a fraud here. Ace of Pentacles, if you have a new opportunity that is coming to you. This is right now, soon, right away. Okay, presently, this is a golden opportunity for security and stability. Okay, this is a new investment. It's new money. It's new abundance, prosperity, health, new business, new job, new financial security, new security, period. So you have a new opportunity, a new golden opportunity that is being handed to you. Three of Pentacles reversed in your future. If you're working with somebody, you or you have been, or maybe you are right now. Um, that's in your future. Three of Pentacles reversed. Lack of teamwork, lack of togetherness, a separation. I do believe there's going to be a separation um, from somebody that you don't work well with. Perhaps there was a third-party situation. Um, 
no compromise, lack of lack of communication, miscommunication, lack of respect. We got somebody here that doesn't respect or they don't work well with others. We get the lovers down in the advice card. Uh, your outside influence, eight of swords reverse, then the queen of cups reverse, and the hermit as the overall outcome. There's definitely going to be a realignment. There's going to be a change. So there's going to be a change. Things are about to change. There's a, there's, a, there's a power that is higher than yourself that is realigning you. Get ready to take another step. You're going to be taking another step. Okay, you're going to be taking a step in a new direction. I feel like we have an unexpected choice in love. Okay, we have the lover's card down here in your advice, in your advice section. That tower card. Unavoidable change. Unprepared. Next to the Ten of Swords. So we have an ending here. It's unprepared. You never saw it coming. Um, somebody may have another option. They may have another choice. I mean, the lovers is an unexpected option. It's an unexpected choice in love. It's, it's a union, a perfect match. Um, there's a, there could be some sort of sensual connection here. Um, soulmate connection. Somebody may be uh, connecting with a soulmate. And this is like the third cancer reading I've tried to do. And I do believe that there is a reconciliation. Somebody's going to be reconciling with somebody from their past. Okay, and it's, and I got chills just now, so that is absolutely a yes answer, and it's unexpected, and it doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a family member. Okay, the lovers is somebody that it's it's a soulmate connection. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It's it's a it's a union where two people are soulmates. Our parents are our soulmates. Our children are our soulmates. Our uh, friends, our best friends can be our soulmates. Our pets can be our soulmates. I do believe a, a lover from the past can be a soulmate. There is, I feel like there is going to be a reconciliation here between you and somebody from your past or somebody that you are dealing with is reconciling with somebody from their past. And this is the third cancer reading that I've done. Um, the outside influence is the Eight of Swords reverse. Somebody's been in prison. They've been in some sort of prison. This is stepping out of prison. This is making an escape, uh, escaping some sort of trap, ex escaping some sort of mental turmoil, stepping out. There's been some sort of reevaluation. There's been a lot of lies. This is removing themselves, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Somebody's removing themselves from a situation where they've been wearing a mask it's not comfortable it's it's been safe you know it's been secure but it's not it's dark it's a dark situation so somebody's stepping out of darkness or they're they haven't been listening to their intuition they haven't been listening to their heart i feel like you are i feel like you've been ignoring your feelings i feel like you've been ignoring your heart as well with that queen of cups reversed in the hopes and fears that's a lack of intuition not listening to intuition not this is emotionally disappointing may even have some sort of obsession here i wonder if somebody has been obsessed with uh I don't know, maybe it's a third party or falseness and lies. There's a lot of lies here. Somebody's been holding on to a false sense of security. I feel like to hurt another person, I feel like that's what it was. It was like, I'm going to prove a point to you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get myself and I'm going to fill a void with somebody else to prove a point. That's what I feel like this is. And now it's reached a point of, of an end, it's of explosion. You know, only a false sense of security it can only last for so long. Um, this is a loss. This is a loss. I feel like we have a rejection here that brings you, gives you a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise. That Ace of Pentacles is a blessing above the tower. Okay. So it's a blessing in disguise. I feel like some of you are going through some sort of spiritual awakening. I feel like you've been ignoring your gut. You've been ignoring your intuition. You've been in a, it's, it's, it's like a sad trap. Okay, sad mentality, depressed. I mean, we got this Queen of Cups reverse next to the Eight of Swords reverse. That's mental turmoil, staying put in this situation because for somehow we had that Four of Pentacles, it felt safe to you. Uh, it filled some sort of void for you. But that false sense of security is crumbling. It's going to crumble really, 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 really fast. 
I feel like um, you have a new relationship. I feel like you do have a new relationship here and some of you are gonna be going in that direction. You're gonna be going through a new doorway. Um, I feel like you've gone through some sort of spiritual awakening. I feel like you're going to need to take a time out. Something as drastic is happening this month that is going to put you in a place where you need to take a time out and reflect on who you are. Maybe you're re-identifying yourself this month. You're going through a period of soul searching. The overall outcome is the hermit, which is re-identification and soul searching, becoming awakened, becoming enlightened, uh, seeing who you truly are. I think that I think that. You know, there's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of emotional disappointment here over some sort of rejection. I feel like somebody's been lying to you, okay? Or you've been lying to them. It could go, so if you're the cross watcher, it could be the cancer that's lying. There is somebody here that has been lying. The eight of swords reversed, the 10 of swords reversed, the six of pentacles reversed. This person hasn't been, they've abused, they've abused their power, okay? This is somebody that is uh, a fraud, is a con that, uh, doesn't listen to any advice that has some sort of control issues. So you've been dealing with somebody that has control issues. And, or it could be you that has the control issues. You could be dealing with somebody that has like a love them and leave them mentality. You know, they speak words of love. You know, they, they say all the right words, but they have no staying power. That's what it looks like with the cards that are here. This person probably is involved in a third party situation. Um, I do believe that there is going to be an expression of feelings. There's sadness. There could definitely be a rejection here. Where you ha maybe you were thinking, you know, that if you just tried and you tried, you tried, it would work out. But if there's, if it if it's not real, if it's not stable, if it's if it's uh, one sided, then you can't you can't make somebody love you, you know, or you can't fall in self love with somebody that you're not in love with, you know, you can't you can't you can't force it. Anyhow, I do believe that. Uh, You need to make a choice. You need to make a choice. I and mean, you're going to be put in a position where you do need to make a choice. Um, you need to follow your heart. You need to listen to your gut. You need to break free from a false sense of security that you have been trapped in. I feel like you are going to be removing a restriction or whoever you're dealing with because that's your outside influence. The Eight of Swords reverses whoever you're dealing with is removing themselves from the situation. I feel like somebody you are dealing with is breaking free. The Eight of the Ten of Swords reverses is breaking free as well. So somebody you're dealing with is breaking free. They're breaking free from this situation. Maybe they have chosen another option. You know, they've maybe they've secured themselves something that is stable, that is solid, that is real, a secure offer. This could be a new home. It could be a new job. It could be a new, uh, it's something new. They're securing something. There's somebody that you are dealing with that has secured something or they're securing something. But I also feel like this is a blessing in disguise for you because it's part of your awakening. It's part of your evolution. Um, I feel like this is a month where there is a rejection. Somebody has been in a situation where there's a lot of lies, there's a lot of betrayal, there's a lot of deception, there's another relationship here. Um, there's the third party situation that probably, you know, has been ignored because we got somebody here that's been in denial with the mask on the Eight of Swords. They've been ignoring it. Uh, but this is coming clean, coming out, stepping out, removing themselves from the situation. I think it is heartbreaking. It's sad. There's There's somebody here that doesn't care who they hurt you know they don't care who they hurt they have all they care about is themselves this is a realization of the truth um, there is going to be an emotional outburst ahead with that emotional outburst ahead card in the queen of swords reverse you may find yourself unable to control your emotions over this person leaving either you're leaving or they're leaving somebody's definitely leaving they have another option um, with somebody that they are more aligned with whether you are the one that is more aligned or they are, there's a there's a realignment here because we had that two of pentacles. Um, this has to do with stability. It has to do with security. It has to do with reality as well. Something solid, something real, something stable. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo. Um, you could also be dealing with a Gemini. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here as well. Um, either way, there is somebody that is going down a new path. They are taking an opportunity they are taking an opportunity for security. They're securing an opportunity that leads them to down a new path, 
okay? We definitely had to have a new path. We may have somebody here, and it's going to put you in a space where you re-identify, where you do some soul searching. It's almost like you're forced to re-identify who you are this month, okay? This, the tower is forced. You can't afford it. I mean, you can't avoid it. And then the hermit is uh, soul searching, and that's your overall outcome. This is seeing the light, you know, becoming aware. This is a Jesus consciousness going through a spiritual awakening. So whatever this is happening is actually a blessing in disguise because it's part of your evolution. It's part of your awakening. It's part of your spiritual awakening. Um, I feel like you've taken a risk and, and it's going to come to light. Something is coming to light. I feel like it has to do with a third party situation. This is definitely about a relationship with the Knight of Cups and the Lover's card. It has to do with love. It may have to even do with a sexual encounter. I don't know if somebody has had sex with somebody else or they've developed some sort of bond with another person. It's been hidden and it comes to light. Something is coming to light. Eight of Pentacles next to that Hermit card. So this is work. It's hard work. Hard work ahead. So there is some sort of hard work ahead for you. Working on yourself. You need to work on yourself. The Hermit is about self. You need to work on your self-identification. You're going to be working by yourself, on yourself this month. You may need to part ways from people that don't respect you. You probably are going to be parting ways with that three of pentacles reversed. It's time to refocus. You need to refocus. You need to refocus on yourself. You need to refocus on your value. You're dealing with somebody who does not respect you. Or, you, or, or if you're the cross watcher, it may be the cancer that doesn't respect you. There's, a, there's disrespect here. And holding on for secure reasons. This is secure, so I'm going to stay. There's going to be upheaval. This is the end. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Something is going to be revealed. Some, and it may have to do with work. I don't know if somebody's been hiding something that they do at work, you know, or they watch at work or something like that. It gets revealed and it causes an uproar. Something that has to do with the job or has to do with the work. Um... There's an injustice here. There's greed. We got a greedy, power hungry individual here that doesn't care. This is somebody that is very selfish. That has treated somebody unfairly and things are about to fall apart. They're about to fall apart fast. Ten of Cups reversed and the High Priestess. So the ten, of, and you know, I feel like you know that there's a relationship that is not on the same page. This is a dying dream. Okay, this is not a happy, happily ever after. If you got somebody here that knows this is not happily ever after, their intuition is telling them that it's not. That this is not forever. Why waste your time on a situation that is not forever? It's not fair. It's not fair. And the, the Six of Pentacles reverse. It's not fair to anybody involved. It's not. It's an injustice. It's an act of greed to involve yourself in a situation with somebody that you're just wasting their time. It's not fair. I feel like we have a separation here because somebody has another lover and I feel like they've been in denial over the other lover or the other option. Um, but this is removing the restrictions, removing an obstacle. An obstacle is being removed. Somebody has been in a place of fear. They've been staying put. They're removing that fear. They're removing themselves for, from a relationship where there's been a lot of suffering. They know that there's a third party. I put that high priestess right on top of the three of pentacles. Reverse is like they know there's another person. Why? Why invest in a relationship where there's a third party? That's not practical. It's not even reasonable. It's false. It's, 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 it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It, it says a lot about your value now, doesn't it? So there is going to be an emotional outburst ahead because we have somebody here, I believe, that has been cheating. And it could be even emotional cheating where they're just, you know, developing an intimate relationship with somebody over the phone or over text or whatever. That's cheating. 
but I do see sexual as well. I see sexual tension, sexual energy here. There's definitely some sort of a strong desire or attraction to another person, and I feel like it's the ultimate betrayal. Becoming aware, becoming aware, going within, taking a time out, working on yourself, focusing on your job, focusing on yourself. That's what I see. That's what I think is going to happen this month. I think you're being removed from a false sense of security, and I think it's going to be emotional. Because it's hard to let go of something that made you feel secure, but was dark. Good luck.